hello there well I've got leftover paints to use again I've got the pearlescent paints that I was using in pink turquoise blue and yellow um, but I have left out the orange and the black from my previous pour and just put in the purple I've got a white house paint base down just to help it move I'm going to make a spout in the cup and I'm just going to do I'm going to start off just pouring straight down and then probably do a little bit of wiggling I'll see how I go might actually start up one side I think As you will have noticed this paint is actually quite thick I'm already starting to lose it off one side I might just pop a couple of my stir sticks underneath the feet on this side to stop losing any more of it as it's the pretty turquoise color that I want to keep while I get my gloves on so that I can do a um, tilt but first of all, of course, I need to get rid of some of the bubbles. This paint is lovely. It is cheap. I'm not sure how it's going to dry, but it certainly gets bubbles in it. And in this cup, I did inject some silicone, about eight or nine drops. So um, that should make a few cells. Okay, so I've got my gloves on now. More bubbles popping through. And I will now um, tilt this to see what sort of effect I can get, particularly concentrating on the turquoise, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to head some of this paint off from this end, even though I'm losing the pink, which I also think is very pretty. I want to head that tail right down there. And then I'm just going to do the side to side tilt rather than corner to corner. Over the two pours I've done with this pearlescent paint I have found that it really doesn't stick very well at all. In my last video I put some on cabochons and I had to re-dip them because the pearlescent paint wasn't sticking so obviously it is not a good paint for mixing just with water. It needs a paint pouring medium in such as Floetrol or PVA glue to keep it together. To stop it from separating so I've finished what I wanted to do there I just absolutely love the white drops caused by the white paint underneath and of course the uh, silicone and the sort of a almost wave like pattern down here and the pearlescent color is beautiful but it's not quite what I had hoped would be because as you can see the paint is already pulling away from the edges it does not stick well so when I use it in the future I will be mixing it with either PVA glue or Floetrol or both. That is the end of that experiment for the day. Once again thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Well here is the dried picture from my last video 
with the pearlescent paint which is just gorgeous the pearl colors that just oh just vibrate on the canvas um, normally I will scrape a canvas when I've finished with it because I haven't got enough money to keep buying new canvases so I reuse what I've got but this one I decided to let it dry because I wanted to show you just how beautiful the colors were in it I'm not even sure now if my camera is doing it justice and this is the one I have did showed you from earlier in this video now dried also beautiful pearlescent colors this one of course was done on a piece of foam board so I'm able to show, show you the dried results from it I'm trying to pick up the pearl colors to show you the, or should I say the pearlescence in the colors just gorgeous I'm loving the colours, they remind me of some of the colours of my nail polishes.